Hi Pine Class, it's Wednesday morning and today's maths lesson is going to be very practical. We're going to be looking to make visual representations of multiplication sentences. Now what I've done is choose a number and the number that I've chosen is 30 and I wanted to make visual representations of multiplication sentences that made 30. So I had a really good think about the times tables that I knew and I wanted to know which times tables 30 was in. And I thought, ah, I know that 30 is in the 3 and the 10 times table. So I know that 3 times 10 gives me 30. I also know that 30 is in the 5 and the 6 times table. So I know that 5 times 6 is 30. And I know that 30 is in the 2 times table and the 15 times table. And that 15 times 2 also equal 30. So I found three different ways of making 30 using multiplication sentences. But I wanted to show these in a really practical and fun way. So I've chosen some objects from my house to show these multiplication sentences. And I'm going to show you how I've done that. So the first one, 3 times 10 is 30. I've decided that I wanted to show this multiplication sentence using little dog treats that Jem's got. So I'm going to show you how I've done that. Okay. Can you see there the little dark brown bones? Those are Jem's dog treats. And this is my visual representation of 3 times 10 is 30. So you will see there are three groups of treats and in each group there are 10 treats. So three sets of 10, 10, 20, 30 equals 30. Now if I go back to my board, the next visual representation I wanted to make was to show that 5 times 6 is 30. And this time I decided that I was going to use matchsticks. So here is my visual representation of 5 times 6 using matchsticks. So there are 5 groups of matchsticks and in each group there are 6 matchsticks. And that shows me that 5 times 6 is 30. If I were to count all of the matchsticks, I'd get 30. If I were to count all of the dog treat bones, there'd be 30. My final one was 15 times 2 is 30. And this time I decided I was going to use pasta to make my visual representation. So here's my visual representation using pasta. I've got two groups of pasta. And in each group, there are 15 of those little pasta bows. So 15 times 2 is 30. Now, you can also say that these visual representations also represent division sentences. So the inverse. And I've shown that on my board. So we know that 3 times 10 is 30. Therefore, 30 divided by 3 is 10. We know that 5 times 6 is 30, therefore 30 divided by 6 is 5. I seem to have put 36 on that board, it should say 30, sorry about that. We know that 15 times 2 is 30, and therefore 30 divided by 2 is 15. So today, you are going to be making your own visual representations of multiplication sentences. There is no accompanying worksheet for this lesson. What I would like you to do is to send me either photographs or videos of your visual representations. Now I'm going to give you some numbers that I would like you to create multiplication and division sentences for. So if you look on the right hand side of my board, you've got the numbers 12, 24 and 36. So if you start with 12, Think about which times tables 12 is in and see how many multiplication sentences you can create using resources from your house that will make 12. 
And if you're feeling super smart, you could also show me the inverse division statement as well. Do the same with 24 and do the same with 36. Now you'll also see that there is a question mark there. And that is because I then want you to choose any number you would like. So you can pick 56, 99, whatever you fancy, to then make your own visual representations of multiplication sentences that equal that number. So surprise me. Maybe even don't tell me what the sentence is. Show me the picture and I can see if I can guess what multiplication sentence you have created. So don't forget, there's no worksheet for today. Send me your pictures and videos and I'm looking forward to seeing your work.